ladies and gentlemen, um, this is uh, the fifth day of his treatment. Uh, he's getting weaker. Um, I think uh, what is happening to him is a little bit uh, getting worse. You know, after the removal of the skin that covers his uh, abdomen, um, he started having some of his internal organs coming out. Uh, shirt, can you see that? Let me try and see if I can hold him. I know he will be very stubborn. He's in pain anyway. I don't blame him too much. Relax, 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 relax. Alright, can you see that? Um, he has actually had his internal organs opened. And uh, I wonder if he can really survive this treatment at this point. After the falling of his uh, abdominal skin, this should be part of his intestines that are coming out like this. And the other part of his sensitive organs is getting weak anyway. But the truth remains, we will continue to administer the treatment he deserves. If it makes it, to God be the glory. If it doesn't, to God be the glory. But we'll not give up at this point. We will continue seeing what to do and seeing how we can actually make him come out of this uh, horrible situation he finds himself in. Uh, let me zoom it a bit too. Um, he's very, very weak. Trust me. He's not even aware that I've released my hands from his body. Can you move a little? I know you're tired. Sorry, bro. Uh, this guy here was actually very, very uh, dull in swimming, so I have to quarantine him too and give him some treatment. All right, without wasting much time, I'll prepare a solution of uh, sodium chloride for them. Just keep them there for a while, and then give them bitter leaf water as usual. All right, this is water solution containing salt, table salt. Just one teaspoon, okay? So I'm still going to leave them in. Uh, I feel sorry for the black fish, you know. He has been on treatment for close to a week right now. He has not been on food. He has only been on treatment and uh, though he has lasted, without this treatment he would have been dead right now. But however, from what we are seeing now, he has spent close to one extra week in his uh, uh, ill state. And that invariably means that if I actually detected this uh, bacterial infection from the outset or from the onset as the case may be, he would have recovered. But then, Let's not be discouraged. He may still recover. There is room for miracles, you know. All right. Thank you for watching. This is Julian Fish Academy. If you have not subscribed to our channel, do well to click the subscription box and like the video as well. We'll continue with the treatment and give you feedback. If he survives, you will know. If he dies, you will surely know. All right. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> this is uh, exactly uh, a week plus right now. Um, this catfish has really, really suffered. Come on, look at that wound there. This bacteria was a very, 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 very notorious one. It has eaten deep to the extent that if you look, his internal organs are already, you know, shooting out. Uh, this is pretty, pretty horrible. Sincerely, it is horrible. But then, he has lived this long because of the treatment that he has been receiving all this while. Under normal circumstances, you should have been dead by now, you know. It doesn't take them two, three days to die when they are not properly taken care of. But now he has spent to over a week plus right now and he is really, really, really suffering. Uh, at this point, I don't know if he can make it, but we will continue to administer the necessary treatment we have to and see what happens at the end of the day. At times, I just seriously wish that uh, this treatment came on time because if I actually notice this from the outset or the onset as the case may be, uh, the case would have been something else at least from the treatment he has received he should have been very fine by now. And then also another area that keeps me confused or oh, that makes me ask questions is what actually led to the opening of the internal organs because it was still very much sealed as at the first time when the abdominal skin fell off you know it was still very much okay 
probably because I quarantined him with uh, another fish. You know, maybe the other fish forced him and tried to, you know, feed on his flesh and in the process got him exposed as it is right now. But however, it is part of the learning. I'm sure the next fish that I will, you know, detect sick will get his treatment before it gets to this stage. But this is one of the worst case scenarios I have ever treated in my fish farm. But however, we continue the treatment as usual. Administer your stable salt, administer your bitter leaf to keep him for the night and beyond, and do that for some couple of days until the catfish recovers. At this point, he cannot join his peers. These guys, he can't join them because they would definitely have to feed on him and, you know, lead to his untimely death. All right. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Julian Fish Academy. If you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe to our channel and you will get many more updates like this. And it will also help you grow in your fish farm. Thank you.